If your strumbar's flicking orientation is less than a 2-2, you can unscrew the back of your controller with a T10 Torx screwdriver, though I'll be using my Star Allen wrench set. On the inside of the guitar, you should see the back of the strumbar's PCB. If you pay attention to the back cover, you'll see three little pegs behind where the strumbar's PCB normally is. To increase the frequency of flicks, fold some paper and place it in a way that ensures the paper covers all three pegs on the back of the PCB and screw the guitar back shut. What makes this work is the pressure on the back of the PCB. It very slightly moves the PCB closer to the actual strum bar, which reduces the spring power needed to rebound to the other strum switch. If your strum bar's flicking orientation is more than a 2-2, you can take thin pieces of paper, slide them between the strum bar and the faceplate on the up and the down strum, and hopefully you should get less rebound. It's most efficient to tape down the paper very heavily to ensure it isn't moving around. What makes this work is the cushioning of the rebound, essentially dampening the spring's power when flicking back to the other switch. This method is not perfect and is extremely finicky. You'll likely have to open your guitar a few times to get it just right with just the right amount of paper. Also remember how tight you screw the screws back on whenever you're putting your controller back together has an effect on how the pressure applies to the back of the PCB. Of course there is much better and more consistent ways of doing this, but this is by far the easiest and doesn't involve opening up the switches and tinkering with entry level engineering to get it to work. If this doesn't work for you, it might just not work on your controller as its rebound might be too strong or too weak in general, or won't move in a normal way. Controllers are strange. I'll link UCOG's generalized controller modding tutorial for those looking for more. Good luck to those who try this method though.